Okay. So on Tuesday, we talked about the area model as well as the algorithm, also called long division. Okay. So we're going to go through how to do it with the little whole box thingy. Okay. We got four terms up here. So that means that we're going to have four columns and two rows because we're dividing by two things. Okay. So we're going to put that X plus two on the outside. And then we got that X to the third. We're gonna put it in this little box right here. Then we're gonna ask ourselves, what times X will give me X to the third? Fantastic. I would say X squared times what's out here, which is two, two X squared. Now here's where everybody starts having issues. We're going to add on the diagonal and she's saying it's gonna be two X squared. The reason why is because she's gonna, Exactly. It has to add up to equal the number in the problem. Okay. Yeah. So you would say, what times x will give me 2x squared? So we got what times x would give us 2x squared? 2x. Okay. Now you see those exponents going down? Okay, cool. All right, so now we're going to take 2x and we're going to multiply it times 2 on the outside. And that's going to give us 4x. Okay, it's just 4x because look at that to the first power, right? Okay, now we're going to add on the diagonal. Okay, so 4x plus what would give me negative 5? 1, 1, 8, 9. Negative 8, 9. Negative 9x. Yeah, y'all was sitting there for a minute. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So now you're going to say what negative times nine. x would give me negative 9x? And it would be negative 9. Okay. Now we're going to take negative 9 times 2. And what is that going to give me? Okay. Now I want to add this diagonal together to get me 3. What number? Plus, oh, we're aggressive. Okay, positive 21. Okay. Now, can we repeat this whole process again? No. Can we be like, what times x would give me 21? No. This is what we're going to call a remainder. Oh, that's why yesterday it was dividing with remainders. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to say plus 21 over, and we're going to put it over what we divided by on the outside. So x plus 2. Okay, we're going to put all this underneath the little dividing thing. Okay. And then we're going to put that x plus 2 on the outside. All right. Yep, yeah, outside the house. So we're going to ask ourselves what times x would give me x to the third x to the second okay now x squared times everything on the outside is going to give me x cubed plus 2x squared so i said what times x would give me x to the third you told me x squared i'm gonna take x squared i'm gonna multiply it times everything on the outside and i get x cubed plus 2x squared. So now I'm going to change my sign, draw my line, or subtract. And when I do that, I'm going to get x to the third minus x to the third. That's going to cancel. 4 minus 2 is going to give me 2x squared. I'm going to bring down the next term. Four minus two, right? Four minus, it's okay, that's all right. Yesterday I had some people struggling with three minus three. So here we are. Okay, so yeah. Yes, you will use this. This does not go away. This does not go away. You use this in higher level maths. Okay, so now you're gonna ask yourselves what times x would give me two x squared? Fantastic. 2x times 
earthing on the outside. Earthing. earthing. And that's going to give me 2x squared plus 4x. And then I'm going to change my sign and draw my line. And I'm going to subtract. The first one will cancel. Negative 5 minus 4 is going to give me negative 9x. Negative 5 minus 4. So you got to be real careful when you um, write out the subtraction because a lot of people mess up on that. And we bring down the next. We're going to ask ourselves again, what times x would give us negative 9x? Negative 9. Negative 9 times earthing on the outside is going to give me negative 9x minus 18. I'm going to change my sign, draw my line. Be careful of your negatives. So these will cancel. 3 minus negative 18 would give me what? 3 minus negative 18 would give me what? Mm, positive 20. Okay. So woo, 21 over x plus 2. Because we're going to put it over whatever we divided by. All right. So, like I said, we were talking about synthetic division. Okay. So that was regular. That's what we learned on Tuesday. Today, we're going to talk about synthetic division. So, um, is this the same problem from the beginning? Yeah. Okay, we already did the long division way. Okay, so that's the whole algorithm way. I'm going to show you the synthetic way. It's easy, but you have to know the steps in order to do it. Okay, so on your paper, I would say, write down the same problem, the same one from the first one we just did, and then write synthetic division. And we're gonna do that in just a second. Okay. <clears throat> So synthetic division, what you're going to do is you are going to take whatever you're dividing by. Hi, Renee. You're going to take whatever you're dividing by and change the sign. You change the sign of this positive two. Is that going to make that? Okay, we're going to take that negative two and we're going to put this guy in jail. Yep, in the jail. Okay. And then we're going to take all the coefficients of this part of the function and list them out. Okay, so negative two is in jail. And then we're going to list out all the coefficients. So step one, change the sign. Yep. Okay, so this is the difficult part, so pay attention. Okay, so we change the sign, we list out the coefficient. Okay, the first term, we just gonna bring that guy down. Nothing crazy. Okay, now you are going to take negative two and you're going to multiply by one to get negative two and put it here. Okay, so watch that again. I took negative two, multiply by what's down here, which is one, to get negative two. Now we're going to add going straight down. So four plus negative two is going to give me what? Just two. And you're going to multiply negative two times two, and that's going to give me what? Okay, and then you're gonna add going down. So negative five plus negative four is gonna give me, fantastic. Negative two times negative nine is gonna give me, and three plus 18 is gonna give me. Okay, Jeff, I'll give you a second. Okay, you're going to multiply by this number and down here, you get this number. You're going to add going straight down to get this number. Then you're going to multiply again, negative two times two to get this number. And then you're going to add going straight down to get this number. You're gonna do it one more time. 
and then add going straight down. Do we see it? Add the pink, look by the yellow. Yes, sir. So you switched the sign? I did switch the sign. Change the sign, put them in jail. Yep. So the first number one is from the X to the cube. The first one is from that X cube. Yeah, that coefficient is one. Wow. All right, ready? Logan? Did you have another question? Okay. Jared? The negative two, the negative four, and the 18. That came from multiplying negative two times this number down here, and we got negative two. And we placed it right here. So you bring the first coefficient down. And multiply. And multiply it by the negative two. Then you get that okay, number. So negative that two times two is negative four and the negative two times Make sense? Okay. Now, always bring the first one. Okay. okay, now this is not the final answer. What we've got to do with this now is you see the biggest coefficient that's right here. I'm sorry, the biggest exponent right here. It's three, right? We're going to drop that down one. That would be x squared. And then we're going to put an x to the first power, nothing on the next one. And then this guy is going to be your remainder. Okay, so our final answer. What? I'm going to the bathroom now. Okay, so I'm left with x squared plus 2x minus 9 plus 21 divided by x plus 2. Oh, so you just like add the right Yep. Pom pom, go ahead. This does not work every single time. Here's when it does work. When your coefficient, when your coefficient of what you're dividing by is one and the exponent is one, it will work. If it was x squared plus two, you have to long divide. Okay, so you gotta use the area model or a long division, okay? Or if it had a two out front, or some various other number would not work. You would have to do long division. Okay. If it has an exponent, anything more than one, and if it has a coefficient, anything more than one. If it doesn't look like x plus a number or x minus a number. Okay. Yeah. You can, yeah. If you want to just stay with long division way, great. However, you know how they like to ask those error analysis type questions. They could ask one on synthetic division. So you would have to know the process. Okay, go ahead and take a moment. Write down these next two problems. Take a moment. Write down the next two problems. Okay. We're gonna do synthetic division on this guy. Okay, looking at what we're dividing by though, are we missing any terms? Like we got x to the third, x to the second. We're x to the first, right? Okay, so we're gonna rewrite this guy as x to the third, negative five x squared plus zero x minus two divided by x minus four. You want all, oh my God. Positive four in jail. Okay, so now we're going to change that sign of this guy. The positive four, and he's going straight to jail. Okay, now we're going to list out all these coefficients. You have to list out that zero. Um, we're going to list out all of our coefficients. So that's going to be one, negative five, zero, and then negative two. Okay, what are we going to do with the first term? We're going to bring it on down. Okay, I'm going to try to do this look. Four times one is going to give me four. Negative five plus four is going to give me negative one. Four times negative one is going to give me zero plus negative four is going to give me and four times negative four is going to give me 
16. Negative 2 plus negative 16 is going to give me. Okay. Now that we've gotten this far, now we're going to look at our exponent. We're going to subtract 1, and we're going to list out our exponents from there. We're going to say x squared minus 1x minus 4 minus 18 divided by x minus 4. And there is your answer. I know, it's so cute, right? Ready? So on the next one, okay, on the next one, we cannot use synthetic division because we got a coefficient of four. Okay, so we can't do it this way. Okay, so we've got to do the area model. And so we're going to have three boxes going across and two boxes going down. So we're going to put 4x minus 1 on the side, and we're going to put 8x squared on the inside. So now we're going to say, what times 4x would give me 8x squared? 2x. And 2x times negative 1 is going to give me Can you think? OK, so now we're going to add up the diagonal. OK, so negative 2 plus what would give me 34? 36. And then we're going to ask ourselves what times 4x would give me 36x? 9. And then 9 times negative 1 is going to give me. Okay. And when we add these diagonals together, we're going to add them together to get negative 1. But what's going to go right here? Okay. So this guy is going to be our remainder. So we're going to say plus 8 divided by 4x minus 1. So what I did here is it's missing that x cubed, that x squared. You have to write that out. OK, so write it out. Then can I use synthetic division on this? OK, so I'm going to have to use the box method, or I'm going to have to use the long division method. OK, so I'm going to use box. And so I'm going to have three going down. I'm going to have five going across. Which is before five. Because we added those x cubes and et cetera. So why did we add them again? Because, go ahead, Pongo. Pong. Yep, Logan? Uh, wait, do you know you can't use some synthetic division? Somebody tell me. If it, it, has to just be x. it has to be just x. So yeah. exponent is more than one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. What, what times x squared would give me 4x uh, to the fourth? Okay, good. All right, now what do I do? Multiply by negative 3x, which is going to give me 2, right? We just add the exponent. Now what? Multiply by negative 2, so that's going to give me negative 8x squared. Okay, now what? You add up the diagonals. Okay, so if I add up this, we want it to equal zero. So what plus negative 12 is going to give me zero? 12x to the third. OK. Now what do I do? What times x squared would give me neg would give me 12x cubed? 12x. OK. Now what do I do? You multiply 12x by everything on the outside. That's going to give me negative 36x squared. 12x times negative 2 is going to give me negative 24x. And now we're going to add up the diagonal. So we get negative 8 plus negative 36. That's going to give us negative 44. What? plus negative 44 is going to give me zero. Positive 44x squared. 
Okay, I'm gonna give you a second to finish catching. So, what times x squared would give me 44x squared? Okay, 44 times everything on the outside. What's 44 times negative three? On negative 132. There you go. <laughs> 44 times negative eight, I'm sorry, negative two is going to give me negative eight. Now we're gonna add this together. Okay, negative 132 plus negative 24 is gonna give me negative 156. Negative 156 plus what would equal five? <laughs> so mad. She was like, oh, okay. So it's going to be positive 161, right? Okay. So now, what times x squared would give me 161x? Is there anything? No. No. Is there anything that I could multiply? Um, is there anything that I could add together to get negative four? Sorry. From negative 88? From negative 88. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Negative 84. So you see these two numbers right here. We can't do anything else. That is part of our remainder. Okay. That's that. Those things are it. So we're going to say plus 161x plus 84. And we're going to put it over what we just divided by, which is x squared minus 3x minus 2. I know that was a lot. Right? What you can do if it is a multiple choice question, you type this mess in, just like how you see it. Okay, you say this, and then you hit divided by, and this junk on the bottom, right? Then you take your answer choices, and you also graph them. Whatever graph lies over each other, they're the same. The best way to do math is not to do math. There you go. There you go. Okay. Can you take a second? Can you try this one? You're gonna do not the not the door. Okay, you're gonna do area model with this one. There's nothing that's missing, so you don't have to add any zeros in there. Okay, but you will have one, two, three, four columns and two rows. Take a second, try that one. Okay. All right, so if we're going to do this guy with the box method, no, it's my turn. Shh. Okay. Okay. So we have this lovely box. Amazing. 3x cubed goes here. x squared plus x goes on the side. We ask ourselves what times x squared will give me 3x cubed. And that's going to be 3x. 3x times x is going to give me 3x squared. We're going to add up this diagonal to equal 11x squared which will give me eight, eight x squared. And then what times x squared will give me eight x squared? That's eight. Eight times x is gonna give me eight x. I'm gonna get negative four x right here. I can't do anything else with this. Okay. I, I, I like, okay, so one moment, one moment, one moment. Okay, so once we get here, okay, is there anything that we can multiply this by in order to get this negative 4x? Okay, right. Okay, but we're missing that one, right? Okay, so what do we need to put in here? One, because we would need to add those together to get one. That's why I added that zero in the denominator, or not in the denominator, in this box. So when we add this together, we would get one. That's why I added those zeros at the bottom. Remember how I said you really don't have to add in a zero anywhere? You could at the very end of this expression. If it makes your life easier. Now you could just throw that one in there and that's okay too. So our final answer would be negative four X plus one over X squared plus X. Okay.
So looking at this first one, is there any X's missing from this guy? No. Okay, so we're gonna divide. Can we use synth thick or do we have to use long? Long. So you could do um, the algebra from um, the area model. So you can use four boxes going across and two boxes going down. This first one is two X to the third. I'm gonna work this quickly because the, what it's asking for is the remainder is three. So we're trying to look at these last couple of boxes. So we should have X squared, three X squared. When we add this up, we're gonna get four X squared. This will give me two X. Two X times three is gonna give me six X. Add these together, this will give me negative four X. This will give me negative two, negative six. When we add these together, we're going to get 15. And so we're left over with 15. So what would this be? Fantastic. On the next one, can we use synthetic or can we use long? We can use synthetic. I'm gonna be honest, synthetic's probably faster, but I would use that. Now on here, we are going to add in a zero X. So we got X to the third minus 12 X squared plus zero X minus 42. We're gonna change the sign of what we're dividing by. So that's gonna be three. And then we're gonna list out all the coefficients that we had, okay? So we're gonna have one, negative 12, zero, negative 42. Okay, we're gonna bring down the first term. We're gonna multiply, add, multiply, add, and then multiply. That's gonna give me 60, 81, minus 81. And that last one is gonna be negative 100, uh, 123, okay? Oh, it said one of the terms of the solution is negative 27. Is that a case? Yes. So we're gonna say that it's true. Okay, so this one you should have got true. Okay, let's go. So um on the next one, this is possible correct. It's asking about factors. Okay, so this is how you tell if it's a factor or not. So we're gonna list out the coefficients and we're gonna divide by x plus one. We can do this by synthetic. Okay, so we're gonna list out the coefficients and we're gonna bring down the two. We're going to multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. If you get a zero as your remainder, then whatever you just divided by is a factor. No, it's a factor. Okay. So this one is true. We got to check the other one. Okay. Now, here's the thing we're going to take down, we're not done. Okay, so we're going to take down the exponent by one. Mm -hmm. And so this is going to be 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. And now we have to do long division in order to do this one. Okay, so we've got 2x minus 3. I'm going to do this the long division way. And you can check your work by doing box method if you want. We got 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. We're going to ask ourselves what times 2x would give us 2x squared? That's x. x times everything on the outside is going to give me 2x squared minus 3x. I'm going to change my sign, draw my line. When that cancels, I get 7 minus negative 3, which is 10. Bring down my next term. What times 2x would give me 10x? 5 times everything on the outside is going to give me 10x minus 15. When we subtract, we also get 0 as our remainder. So both of these are factors, which is true. 